Hello everyone, this is Liz with EC QuickBooks Training. In this video, I'm going to show you what to do when you have overstated your income. So let's get started. This client came to me and asked me to take a look at his accounts uh, because it just seems like QuickBooks was doubling his income somehow. So once I took a look at it, what was happening is he wasn't applying the payments to the invoices. He was doing deposits directly into the checking account, as you can see here. Now, that will overstate your income because you're doubling your income. You're putting directly into the checking account, and then you're also creating an invoice. Now, this can happen, and this I've seen it happen to many, but I'm going to show you how to uh, quickly fix this. Now, if you have a lot of transactions, it may not be as easy as this, but if you have a few, then yes, it'll be very easy to do. And especially if you have already reconciled your account, you don't wanna delete the duplicate deposits. You don't wanna do that. So let me show you what to do. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the payment. I know that one of the payment, what the date is on the payment. So I'm going to apply the payment to the invoice. Um, and I'm going to do it right here. And then I'm going to go into that deposit and I'm gonna show you what to do. Okay, so I recorded the payment and now I'm in the deposit that um, was duplicated. As you can see, there was a straight deposit into the checking account. Now, when what I did was I applied the payment and I put it to undeposited funds. Now, when you open a deposit, even if it's a previous deposit, um, which is down here. See, it's going straight into the account. Well, it's actually went to uncategorized income, but it's going straight into a chart of accounts and not being applied to an invoice. What QuickBooks does when you open a deposit, it will bring items that you have not yet deposited. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to check the invoice or the payment to the invoice. Now, obviously that's wrong, um, but I don't wanna delete this deposit, so what I'm going to do is delete the, um, the transaction that was straight into the account, so I'm going to delete that. And as we can see, the payment is correct, and to QuickBooks, nothing really has changed except you have just swapped the accounts. You accepted the um, you selected the payment to the invoice and deleted the, the direct uh, payment to the account that was creating a duplicate. So you want to do this for every open invoice that you have and then swap the payment with the direct uh, payment to the account. If that this video has helped you, please leave a comment below if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more how-to tips and tricks and troubleshooting for QuickBooks. I will see you in the next one.